Halloween ends is it's ending and it came out in the box office this weekend killing right so it's it's this is coming to us from collider guys this this movie day and date release while being released on peacock which for me was free i guess i'm a premium subscriber but um, it still managed to rake in $41 million, which seems like a, a, a an achievement to me. You know, uh, we've been talking about Smile here for the last couple of weeks because Smile has been topping the box office. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, Shane, but Smile was like $20 million two weekends in a row, right, at, at yeah. the top? So, yeah. And it so only this, dropped to 12 this, right. this weekend. So this, uh, this doubled that. Um, you know, double what Smile's been doing at the box office in uh, by doing forty plus million. Um, it did make it did it had a good Thursday too with five point four million dollars in uh, early previews, which is really good. Um, and uh, yeah, it was projected to get fifty fifty five million, so it comes in a little bit under projections. But honestly, I don't think it's too bad. Like we, me and Shane, were talking about just a little bit ago, and as you see here in the article, Halloween Kills, which was you know the second installment of the franchise, made forty nine million its opening weekend, and it was also released day and day on Peacock as well. So I think that you know, I, I think this is still good. I mean, honestly, the fact that either one of these movies uh, made over $40 million opening weekend when you could sit on your couch and watch it, again, is a testament to what me and Shane have been talking about around here, which is, you know, Halloween, right? It's that feeling like we want to go out to the theater and see this, you know, because everyone's just, you know, hyped up for that. And I think Halloween, the movie, too, you know, is kind of a staple of Halloween. It's the, you know, the holiday, right? Mm -hmm. So I think um, I think that has a lot to do with it, and it and it shows that this franchise also still has a lot, you know, to to give, um, and people still want to see it, you know, whether the movie is good or not. And you know, we'll talk more about that tomorrow. We're gonna watch the movie tonight ourselves, and we'll review it tomorrow on the show in the morning. But for now, let's just stick with what we know about it, which is we've seen the first two. You know, I wasn't the hugest fan of the first one. The second one I really loved. Um, my favorite part about it was, you know, just getting to see Michael really just go crazy. You know, I love Michael Myers, and I think he's the reason why I want to continue to watch the series, right? And so I'm I'm excited to uh, check out Halloween Ends. I'm glad that it's doing well. Um, real quickly before I kick it over to you, Shane, I do just want to note that, um, um, that the... Uh, the film is budgeted at thirty three million. It says mm -hmm. so. So it looks like it's for sure gonna make start making money immediately, uh, beginning today. Probably you know Monday's box office will start actually being profit probably for them. So that's a good thing. So this movie's making good money. And then I also wanted to point out that um, Smile um, it dropped a little bit, but it's still doing really good, guys, at the box office. Um, it had a $12 million third weekend. So that's putting it at like, yeah, it says $71 million stateside. I mean, that's a lot of money domestically for a, for a movie, again, that was, you know, from a guy on YouTube. And this is competing with, you know, Sony's live action animated Lyle Lyle Crocodile. Um, this is competing with Amsterdam, you know, the best movie ever made. Yeah, and, and in fact, Smile, they almost grossed this weekend when you add up the totals for all three of those, Woman King, Lyle, Lyle the Crocodile, and Amsterdam. That's about 13, 14 million, and, they, and Smile made 12.4 right so that's that's really impressive that they're out pulling you know all these other movies for sure and for sure and it's and it's it's good to see like we say you know we, we want to see more success for these especially smaller films when a guy you know uh, made something on youtube and was able to get it you know made that's awesome uh yeah amsterdam obviously can continues to bomb um it didn't even pull in a f full three million 2.9 that's terrible. That movie's going to lose lots and lots of money. It says here um, as upwards of $100 million that I, it'll lose the studio. So I believe it. When you see that lineup of cast, I mean, everyone and anybody's in that movie. I mean, that, you're talking 
you know, four or five, ten million dollars per, <laughs> per each person. Actor. And there's like fifteen of them. You and, know what you I'm know, saying? Da- David O. Russell, he's got a name, so I'm but he's committed right. in five, six, eight, ten million. Right. Who knows? David O. Right, right. So you gotta pay the director too, and I'm sure there's a cinematographer. And, and I'm sure it. they were all promised back end points too. Right. It's like, oh, you're gonna make so much <laughs> this money is on this kill, movie. Right, yeah, kill. for sure. No, but Halloween killed and yeah. uh that that's so awesome to see because you know I I really wanted to see what um, this movie would do, especially since Smile's been ruling. You know, are people too burned out on Halloween? But no, not nope. at all. I mean, they're seeing both of these films, right? And you know, um, I I think it was a gamble to release both of them. And even though it's about two million or nine million dollars less than last year's Halloween film, I guarantee you they think that's a win while releasing it at Peacock. We don't. I don't have the Peacock subscription numbers so i don't know right you know maybe they made that up and right people you know We're adding a subscription yeah maybe and, possibly you know so who knows um you know if each if it's five bucks and you know they need to clear 10 million to beat last year's you know you're talking about two and a half million people subscribing yeah, that's not happening. yeah that's not okay. <laughs> so maybe maybe that did not happen this weekend yeah. but um i think the biggest effect that uh, just looking at box office mojo here is the saturday returns you know we, it opened at 20 million dollars opened about 21 22 last year and uh, Saturday for Halloween Kills last year's release was 17.8, almost 18 million. This year it was 13, just barely 13 million. So I think that shows the peacock effect is on Saturday instead of people going out on Saturday. Because, you know, you get off work Friday, you know, let's go, you know, have some fun. But, you know, Saturday's definitely more of a family day or, right. you know, hey, let's stay in tonight and we can rant you know uh, right. halloween kills so you know i i think that was a huge win that they were still able to bring in that many people to see the th- into I the agree. theater so you know gr- great move by them because i get to see it tonight and um you know i'll only you know just watch it on peacock so right are you excited to watch it oh absolutely yeah. i mean we i saw the other two um let I, me ask you a question please if it's absolutely the worst halloween movie you've ever seen would you want more Michael Myers? Oh, you got to feel... Oh, good. I mean, good. I, I think that, good. you know, what's happened in these these last... Because the last time... Did Rob Zombie get a trilogy? No, he ended he up only, only getting two. two. Yeah. two. Okay. But were they planning on doing a trilogy? Yes. Okay. I kind of like this format of, you know, revamping. Not a reboot or right. necessarily, you know... Uh, you Almost know. like an uh, alternate reality. Yeah, version. you know, whatever. Right, yeah. Yeah, Michael Meyer, you know, and I, I kind of like that, you know. So I'd, I'd like to see what the next installment is, regardless of how good or crappy this one. I mean, even let's take it on the flip side. If this one's the best Halloween, you could probably make a case. Do you want to end with this one? Right. It, never. Yeah. You know? Right. Not with Michael Myers. Exactly. Right. <laughs> I mean, and especially in this day and age, you know, where everything's about IP properties. I mean, on our, our segment today, we're talking about one, two, three, four, five, six different films today. And only yeah. one of them was an original idea. Everything yeah. else is a series or an IP. So we yep. live in that yep. world. We sure so do. will Michael Myers be back? Yes, without a doubt. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, he'll be back and we'll be watching him, right? Yep, absolutely. We're not going to miss Michael Myers movies. Of any, I mean, they should just start calling it Michael Myers. Instead of there we go, <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> right. But, but yeah, so I mean, I'm excited to, uh, to check it out tonight. I'm glad that it's doing well in the box office. I'm glad that... Horror is doing well. I know it's October, so we kind of expect horror to do horror to do a little uh, better this time of year. But you know, you never know what to expect, really. But I can assure you this: next week, um, or sorry, this week, this weekend, this upcoming weekend, uh, starting Thursday, the the biggest box office will be Black Adam. Shane, I absolutely. I mean, without without a doubt, Black Adam is going to explode. Um, you can tell that people are really anticipating this film, and I think they will show up in droves. In yeah, the for sure. I think I think Black Adam is going to have a huge opening weekend, and uh, it'll definitely kick Smile and Halloween and all of those. And it will be left in its wake, that's for sure. Yeah, we we haven't had a uh, hundred million dollar opening in a while. In a while, yeah. not not this fall, I guess. Uh, yep. Top Gun and Jurassic World yep. or whatever. Um, and so, you know, I think we're due. I think people are ready to, you know. Yeah, and I, honestly, after um, after hearing a lot of the early reactions, man, I'm super stoked to see it. 
I was just talking to Key about this before we went live, and I think DC should have done this from the get-go. Instead of having Shazam and setting up that whole Captain Marvel world, who cares? And instead of setting up this DC universe, what was the big DC, first DC film? I don't know. Man of, was it Man of Steel? I think it was Man of yeah. Steel, yeah. And, you know, that makes sense. You want Superman? No, screw that. They should have done Black Adam because it is a perfect role for The Rock. People are going to see this movie because of The Rock. Mm-hmm. They're going to fall in love with this character and the world because of The Rock. Mm-hmm. And it's very similar to what Marvel did with Iron Man. That was their first big hit. We were all immediately, yes, this is right. amazing. Let's watch these movies. And I think if DC would have had more of that approach, and this would have been their first film going into this universe, you know, I, th- I think uh, you know they would probably be closer in terms of where Marvel's at now. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I agree a hundred percent. And I, I again, I got guys. I can't express enough how um, excited I am now to see Black Adam, and I'll be seeing it Thursday. It probably, I don't know. As soon as it's available for me to see. so <laughs> And, uh, yeah, we'll be talking about Black Adam probably all weekend around here. So stay tuned for that, guys. But, yeah, um, Halloween ends. Uh, doing good at the box office. We're also going to check that out tonight. Talk uh, about it tomorrow. Yeah, we'll be talking about that on uh, tomorrow's show. So make sure you guys stick around for that. But, yeah, guys, w- what are you guys' thoughts? Let us know down in the comment section below. What are you thinking about Halloween ends? Are you guys excited for it? Are you, uh, did you go out and see it this weekend? Did, did you like it? Did you hate it? You know, let us know in the comment section below what you guys' thoughts are on it.